and welcome back to another episode of Fright Mike. I'm Sam. I'm Liz. And today we are continuing our theme for the month, which is Grizzly Games by um talking about one of my favorite movies of all time. A movie that is very near and dear to my own heart. Ooh, favorite of all time. Um, this favorite. is something I didn't even know about. I, know, I mean, I, it's a guilty pleasure for sure. You it should is, not be guilty. <laughs> that's true. Uh, we are talking about uh, early 2000s, uh, 2005's underscore, no, cry underscore wolf. Cry underscore wolf. Oh my god, <laughs> I'm so excited. The day has finally come. I'm going to gush about this movie. Tears in your eyes. Uh, the stars <laughs> in my eyes, they shine so bright. I, I don't know, I'm super excited to talk about this movie and I feel like no one likes it. <laughs> I like it. Good. I like it a lot. The scores reflect um, the opposite. Yeah. But I'm well, excited. So we're just going to jump right into it. Cry Wolf, which came out in 2005, currently has a 5.8 out of 10 on IMDb. That's a bit small. <laughs> yeah. It's got a 24% on Rotten Tomatoes, which is good. That is it is so, criminal. That is so weird that it's so low. I don't... Uh, I know. I don't get it. I feel know, like this movie blew my fucking mind. You know what's weird is... Like, because you mentioned that you that you didn't think anybody liked it. I feel like I've never heard anybody talk about it before. Really? Yeah. Weird. It's, like, it used to be on TV all the time back, you know, back in the day, early 2000s. Like, it was it was on TV all the time. And anytime I would bring it up to a friend at school, they'd either never heard of it or they're like, that movie blows. Not even. Are we even watching the same goddamn movie? This movie was so good. It still is good. Well, because I know, like, last week we were talking about, um... Stay Alive, you know, it's not the best 2000s, like, horror. Sure wasn't. Yeah, like, horror <laughs> film that came out. And, like, but this one was so close to it um, that, but it was done well. I think and so. And I'm, like, no budget, too. Yeah. <laughs> they I had, like, a limited budget for this movie. And it's, like, it's almost like the Saw story. It's, like, limited budget, but they did so much with it that it made it such a good movie, I think. Yeah, definitely. Ugh. And, like, it's, I think the story is creative. They've made so many games out of it. They're, I, I mean, I, I know they're kind of doing, not necessarily a remake, but. Like another reimagining a, of yeah, it. Yeah, they're doing a similar style of story. We used to play, like, we'd get together with all our friends and play that, it's, um. The Werewolves of Miller's, Miller's Hollow. Hollow. Yeah. yeah. And it's very similar to this it's game. So the game that they play. It's yeah. so much fun. It's so much fun. Oh my god, it would get violent it, it the name calling friendships were lost <laughs> yeah, when you thought mario kart was bad yeah. this game wow oh i was so interested like i'm i'm like a master manipulator at this that game though true i would like make all of our friends just ugh. and it's like the thing the tactic that she uses in this movie um just you know like the like manipulate your friends the best way to like kind of get attention off of yourself is to like blame someone who's right next to you so that's what i did <laughs> absolutely you have to he looked at me funny he's a wolf <laughs> Except i noticed that he flared his nostrils and he also flared his nostrils the last time he was a wolf he's guilty oh it's so true though i know it's such a good game it's such a simple game but it's so much fun and the good thing is you don't even like it's a card game so like yes you can buy the card like the character cards or whatever but the good thing is you you can make character cards. Like, we did. It's a, we did. Like a couple times we wanted to play it, but we didn't have it on hand, so we made up the the cards. Yeah, it's the simplest game. It provides hours of entertainment, even more hours of like berating. <laughs> <laughs> like there were some days after we like the next day after we had played, my voice was hoarse because of all the screaming. Screaming. Yeah, like fuck you. <laughs> I mean, you would names. take it personally when Absolutely. you were being accused of a wolf and you weren't. Oh my, you, like, threw your card in the air and just stomped out of the room. Or the worst was when um, you'd be the first one killed yeah. all the time. And then you're like, oh, you're not even letting me for, play. For no reason other yeah. than, you know what, I don't know who it is. It's probably Sam. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or, like, uh, oh, the worst is, uh, like, the first round starts everyone goes to bed wakes up the next round you find out who's killed it's you and it's like i we just started playing why did you kill me oh because you're too good of a player we have to eliminate you that ah! that's bullshit and you fucking know it because then it's gonna happen every time every time and it did <laughs> yeah 
Sometimes we had some good ones good. though. We had some good rounds before, but yeah. So the fact that this is like was already a movie, I think before that game even came out. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Ugh. Yeah. This is Chef's Kiss. This mm-hmm. is a great movie. And John Bon Jovi's in it. Are you kidding me? <laughs> it's, a too. it's so random. I know. It's so random. Like he's in it. Gary Cole's in it, and he has like a British accent. Which <laughs> Bill <I'll> Lumberg. <laughs> yeah. His British accent goes in and out. I know. Mr. Brady. I was alarmed, like, the first time I saw this movie, and I like I was like, okay, it's Owen, you know, our main character's dad, who's, um, you know, from England, and has an accent, and I'm like, okay, that's weird that Bill Lumberg is in this movie and also has an accent. Right. It, and his accent's so bad, it's one of those where it's like, hello. <coughs> hello. Hello. I um, forgot. <laughs> yeah. I had forgotten in this scene that I'm supposed to be British, yes. but, uh... And he talks like that! Yeah. It's like when an American is trying to impersonate somebody that's, like, like British. Right yeah! Yeah. And you, like, totally overkill it. Yeah, absolutely. It's <laughs> him the whole time. He's like Mary Poppins. Although I guess Julie Andrews is actually British. I take that back. <laughs> <laughs> and Emily Blunt, who also played her. <gasps> oh, true! I forgot <laughs> about that! <laughs> like, in the newer one? Yeah. Sorry. I didn't see that one. I, yeah, I didn't see it either, but I just know. Yeah, I don't fucks with kids' movies, but... Yeah, no. Well, let's jump into it, shall we? Also, we... Shout out to Jared <gasps> okay, Padalecki. <laughs> we're jumping back down. We have, we're taking it down. Jared Padalecki's in this movie, uh, for all you Supernatural lovers, but he must have, like, a thing for horror, because not only was he in, like, 50 million seasons of Supernatural, but he was also in this, and the Friday the 13th remake, and House of Wax. Oh, we I know. True. Oh, shit. I know. I All know those 2000 gems you know and love. And he's hot. <laughs> he is hot. Woof. That Pod up. intended. That goes. <laughs> 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 the, thirst I'll see is, the thirst is real. I would hunt him down for sure. Uh, it's funny, too, because he, I believe, is originally from Texas, Jerry Padalecki, and his character in this movie is from Texas. Ooh. So, what a stretch. <laughs> yeah. You know, because of the, like, the limited budget in this movie, and I feel like when, like, movies have that, it's almost like you could, maybe, the, I mean, I don't know if this happened for sure, but maybe the director was kind of like, take these characters and run with it, and that that's what he ended up doing with his. He was like, yeah, I'm gonna be this type of character, and, uh, this is my likes and dislikes, and I like Texas, and I'm from there. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> so my character, hear me out, is gonna be from Texas. <gasps> Stop it. <laughs> my whole backstory is. Yes. <laughs> I believe all the budget to this movie went to John Bon Jovi's paycheck. <laughs> Probably. He's They're like, like we need biggest? a big star. We'll give you Gary Cole. No. Bigger. <laughs> John Bon Jovi. Perfect. What's he up to? So random. Yeah. Of all the people. So random. Although, oh my god, it sets up the best Bon Jovi line, like, joke ever at the end. We'll get there. Oh, we'll, oh trust. I'll get there. Trust. <laughs> So, let's jump back into it. We're jumping back in. The movie opens. A lady in distress. She's running through the forest. She's hiding from a killer. She gets a text. A shot rang out. A scream! (laughs) (laughs) She's like, I don't know. Yeah, she's like getting hunted down. And then she gets like, we see the killer like whips out a phone. And she's like going through her contacts. And they call Becky. So the killer knows who this person is. That's our first clue. Exactly. So she been she been new. She got got. She did got got. Yeah. So the phone rings. Becky is found and she's dead within the first I don't know two minutes of the movie. Mm-hmm. What a banger! What a banger! She got killed. Yeah. So now we pan over to Westlake Preparatory Academy. Academy. I can't. I can't. <laughs> With these fancy words, it's a boarding school. <laughs> Uh, also, you notice, like, the orangish filter that's over, like, the beginning of this Absolutely. movie? Absolutely. It's, like, the, I'd say, like, early 2000s I mean, I know filter. it's fall, because, like, eventually there's, like, a Halloween thing, but, like, uh, it's very orange. Very orange. It's like they put the ski mask over the camera. Yeah! <laughs> yeah. In a way. Yeah, it's, it's very orange tone. Everything that's orange in this movie is very vibrant. <laughs> it's, like, a thing. I don't know. Yeah. Uh... But our, our new guy is Owen. Wait, I'm sorry. I just I just had this. Maybe I'm looking too much into it. But our bad guy slash girl has orangish hair. They wear an orange ski mask. Were they setting that up for the beginning? <gasps> Clues. Clues are the clue number two. Yeah. 
I hope you're all keeping tally. <laughs> I'm like Scooby and Shaggy, solving a mystery out here. I'm just doing my due dil- diligence. Honestly, that could be. I'm thinking because so. of the ending that we come up with, uh-huh. which we don't know because we're watching this for the first time. We're not. We're not. You shouldn't be either. But if you are, welcome. But if you are, (laughs) here's your spoilers now. Right. Leave (laughs) now. Leave and then come back. Because we we have thoughts. Mm Because we have much to discuss. Yeah. (laughs) Uh, Yeah, so Owen is our new boy. He's starting there. He's from England. And uh, Gary Cole's his dad. (laughs) Love that. Uh, He runs into a girl named Dodger. Interesting name. It is an interesting name. She is very, she's got a lot of personality. She's very strong-headed, very bossy. She's something. (laughs) Yeah. Dodger, more like felony Dodger, am I right? Oh, honey! Okay, okay! I'm so sorry. I'm gonna see myself out. (laughs) (laughs) It's so weird to me that Gary, uh, no, I'm gonna keep talking about Gary Cole. It's so weird to me that I feel like he's everyone's dad in every movie. (laughs) Except Pineapple Express. Even when he's not. Even when he's not, he is. <laughs> Even when he's not. He's always Mr. Brady to me. That's what I see him at. Mr. Like, Brady? Yeah, he played um, Papa Brady. What the hell is his name? Uh, Mike Brady in the Brady Bunch movie and a very Brady sequel. Oh, very God. important 90s movies. Uh, Liz, I'm very upset. <laughs> but essential. <laughs> That's what I always see him as. He's, he's, he's Mike he's Brady. He's always Bill Lumberg to me. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to need you to come in on Saturday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Did you He's see always the memo? Oh no. Yeah. I well, I saw the Brady Bunch movie first before Office Space. Oh, okay. So that I mean, that's probably why my mind goes there rather than Office Space. But just always everyone's dad. Yeah. Well, this time he's Owen's dad, and he's kind of an absentee dad too. So he like he kind of like sends him off to this prep school. Yeah. Um. But also, when Owen does meet Dodger, she mentions kind of offhandedly. That, not, not even offhandedly, they, they're having, like, a, an assembly that he's supposed to be a part of where they're, like, learning safety on the campus because of the newly dead girl, Becky, Becky who was just found murdered in the forest or whatever, the woods. And uh, so now she was skipping out on it because she didn't want it, whatever. Yeah, she's a stone cold bitch. Yeah, she is. She's played by Lindy Booth, who also plays Night Bitch. In Kick Ass too. My bitch. <laughs> My bitch. <laughs> um. So yeah. Um. They like meet, and she's got, like, we sh- she's got, fun hair, very thin eyebrows, <laughs> very two thousand five. Um. But she kind of is like, okay, bye, and like disappears into the crowd, and it's like, ooh, mysterious. She's the, the mysterious girl at school named Dodger. Yeah. He's into it. You can tell. Yeah. And then it's a, well, so, like, this is, like, the only, like, I guess my only kind of gripe in this movie. So we're thinking, like, this movie probably started in, like, August, whenever people go back to school. It's close to Halloween. It is because, like, now, at this point, like, the next scene, he's with Tom, Jared Padalecki. They're, like, roommates. Roomies. But they're, like, on, like, they're almost, like, buddies now. So it's, like, obviously some time has passed, but it's never, like, you, it's, like, you never really know how much time has passed. True. In between, because now, all of a sudden, he's, like, established, like, he's made friends there, like. You know? Mm-hmm. But Jared Padalecki is also, like, super welcoming, too. His name's Tom. He's just, like, a goofy kid. Um, I believe it's the middle of the night, and Tom wakes up. What's his name? Owen. Owen. And he's like, shh, we're sneaking out, bitch. We're gonna go to the chapel. Dodger told me to bring you. And so they go, and in the middle of the night, it's Tom, Owen, Dodger, uh, what are the other? Lewis, Regina. Regina, Mercedes, and... Graham. Graham. It's a whole gang of And there's the other guy, too, with the piercings. Randall. Randall. Yes. So they're all, like, meeting, and they're going to play a game, and they're explaining the rules of the game to Owen. The uh, rule of the game is that one of them is a wolf, the other are sheep. They got to sniff out who the wolf is, um, and they, like, there's a pot of money in it for them. So, like, whoever is the last one standing gets to keep the money. The mark of the wolf is, like, on their chest. So, like, everyone has to, like, lift up their shirt or whatever to show that they're not the wolf. And, basically, Dodger explains that the rules of the game are to, like, avoid suspicion, eliminate your enemies, like, you know, survive. 
Yeah. Do whatever it takes. Exactly. <laughs> um, so they play, and Owen is, like, he really holds his own. He, like, is so quick to call holds people out Owen. on shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he holds his Owen. <laughs> he calls people out on their shit, uh, much to the dismay of, like, a couple of them who don't, off the bat, don't even like him, like, Graham, that, mm-hmm. like... Because he calls him out. He's like, oh, you keep taking swigs of your uh, your beer bottle. That's a tell. And he's like, oh, tell. okay. And he's like, yeah, well, your beer bottle's empty, so why do you keep taking a swig? Liar! Ooh, ooh that's, see, that's the kind of shit I would notice if I played the game. It's why true. are you sweating? Why are your bros furrowed? <laughs> <laughs> I noticed you lifted your left cheek instead of your right. Why is that? Yeah. Seems guilty. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you're not laughing at all the jokes. Why? Why? What is that? Yeah, you're, you seem awfully quiet this round. Why? Exactly. That's the kind of shit you notice, but you have to, especially have when there's to. money on the line. <laughs> exactly. So, basically, we're down to, like, our final few. It's Lewis and, what's her name? The Mercedes. Mercedes, yeah. And Owen, right? Mm-hmm. And Dodger's, like, our mediator, so she's not even, like, playing, necessarily. Um, so they're basically like, oh, who's it gonna be, man? Um, like, Owen votes for Mercedes, her boyfriend, Lewis, has to either vote against her or for her, right? Yeah. Did I say that right? Yeah. So they end up voting Mercedes out, and she was like, mm, go fuck yourself, because um, she's not the wolf, so then he runs off, and Owen wins. Owen Hip wins. Hooray. So her, like... He thwarted them all. <laughs> exactly. So Dodger's like, we could use you. Yeah. Well, that's what she's thinking. She's like, I could use you. And she You does. know? And she definitely does, like... Most definitely. Mm-hmm. For all of it. <laughs> yeah. So she's already, like sinking her claws in yeah ready to make she's her found her prey <laughs> absolutely uh after that i think he goes to class the next day where he's late for mr walker's class bon Jovi. mr walker <laughs> <laughs> oh hey there mr walker <laughs> uh so he's in bon jovi's class and he's like hi owen i am bon jovi <laughs> i mean mr walker <laughs> go ahead and have a seat Dodger's like I aming him, um, and her her screen name is Bo Peep. Whoa. And for those of you that weren't around for two thousand five, it's AOL Instant Messenger. Yes, I know, that love familiar that familiar ping. I know, <laughs> I, <laughs> I miss it. Away messages, the running, whole the whole nine. Running that cable all the way up to your phone, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> True, pissing off your parents. The not getting phone calls on the landline. <laughs> the worst was when you were trying to be on AIM or, like, AOL Instant Messenger and you had siblings mm-hmm. because then it was like, no, it's my turn. You've been on there for 30 minutes. Fuck off. I just got on here. No, wait, your turn. Oh, man, it was a fucking And the thing is, is that you were, like, always just sitting on there. Well, not always, but, like, you would just sit on there sometimes and wait for someone to message you. <laughs> yeah, true. You would just, like, browse the internet and occasionally glance over and see if anybody messaged yeah. you. Craft your away message. Go back on MySpace and change your top ten around. Yeah. <laughs> Nine? Top eight. Eight. Top I eight. Know. I never had MySpace. <laughs> oh, the top eight. The top eight was the uh, the flex. If you were in someone's top eight, but it was like your ranking in the top eight also, like yeah. I'm, I'm blessed. I'm graced to make the top eight. I'm blessed to make the top four, and I am fucking everything if I've made your top number. Like, your top status. <laughs> status. Your number one was always, like, your boyfriend or your best friend if you were single. Your second one was always, like, a best friend or your crush. Ooh. Mm-hmm. If you, like, your crush if you weren't, like, official. I was always someone's number two. <laughs> Never someone's number so, one. <laughs> so fucked. <laughs> so so, fucked. Such a queen. Ugh. <laughs> Uh, no. Anyway, I digress. They're, <laughs> they're in class, and her name's Bo Peep, and, like, after class, Tom invites, like, they have this, like, chat at lunch where Tom's like, let's go to my lake house and get, like, play the game and get fucked up, and then Randall's like, nope, I'm gonna leave campus, and I need to borrow your car, because I'm gonna de some some, some bitch named Heather. Yes, yeah. Some, I think some her name ch- actually is Heather. Is it I Heather? I don't know. Oh, no, Jenny Ryder. Jenny Ryder. Jenny Ryder, <laughs> which... Little Red Riding Hood, Ryder. Ooh. Hello, hello. Not a clue. The material. Look at it. Yeah. <laughs> it's right there in front of you. Exactly. So they're like, ugh. Well, then we can't play. Well, I, I guess we'll just like play here. And this is where Dodger's like, what if we make it bigger? What if we go bigger with this? Like, we 
should play with the whole school. You know what I mean? And they're like, a new game. Yeah, exactly. A new Involving game. Involving the entire school. And Mercedes is like, I don't think that I'll fit in the chapel because she's an idiot. <laughs> and this is when Dodger, like, the flex of the movie, yeah. she's like, it's like you guys are playing checkers and I'm playing chess. Gets up and leaves. She's fucking, she's had it with these two two brain cell losers <laughs> just taking her operation hey, elsewhere with them. Mm-hmm. that's true that's true but but is she let's talk about it <laughs> yeah let's talk about that uh, <laughs> about well no like it she is but is she using all of them the entire time i think so because she's like so we like find this out like through, through the movie it's not really like a big deal but like she's a townie yeah so she's local she's not rich like everyone else is like right. basically her dad's the fucking janitor yeah. And that's how she's able to be there. So Got that discount. <laughs> exactly. So is she, like... Because it seems like, to her, all of these friends are kind of, like, expendable. She's yeah. They're just basically, like she said, just playing chess. They're basically all just pawns in her game that she can use. Yeah. But then turns around when she needs to and says, like, these people are my friends. Right. She Off the bat, she puts herself on a pedestal above yeah. all of them. She's but she all. sees Owen as her being her equal because of how clever he was during the game. Exactly. He was, like, the prime meat, the prime suspect of, or not suspect, but, like, the prime person to right. use in her game. I feel like he's definitely, like... She figures, like, especially if we're talking about, like, chess, like, he makes them feel like the king, Mm -hmm. you know, like, she's, like, one-on-one with him, like, you're my main guy, but everyone knows in chess, the king can only move one space at a time, where the queen, she can go where the fuck she wants. Uh, She steps ahead of everyone. That's the chess reference. That's the chess (laughs) reference. So she's like, yeah, you could be my king, you fucking idiot, you're always gonna be steps behind me, dude. But then she confides in Owen separately from the group expressing her idea even further by saying like what if we created this killer we'll call him the wolf uh we'll plan murders that happened and like basically email the entire school about this whole thing yeah they're gonna create like a massive like prank (laughs) yeah because and they're gonna say it's like it's a cycle and it just repeats over time and this is the first of like kind of like if anyone has seen Dexter the Trinity Killer yeah you know like he has three victims that he kills the same way then he like skips town and then repeats the cycle elsewhere or the Poughkeepsie tapes exactly (gasps) where's my inhaler (laughs) yes exactly so it's it's very that. So they may, they're making him out to be a serial killer. Yes. Because he's going to be going from person to person. To Absolutely. Person. Uh, so Owen like forwards this email, even though they're one that like they're the ones that create it, but he just makes it look like oh I got it, so I'm just forwarding it on to everyone. So the entire student body. Yes. So it all like we sh- we see it go quote unquote viral for 2005. Hey. Um, and then in Mr. Walker's class. Um, he basically calls Owen into his office and is like, yo. He gets caught immediately. (laughs) Yeah, he's like, I know you did that. And, like, it's all whatever, but the victim, Becky, her family, they also got that email. And that's pretty fucked up, dude. But I'll, uh, I'll keep your secret for now. Yeah. Keep your secret for now. They're buddy buddy for now. Right. Yeah, Mr. Walker is just pretty much like, (laughs) yo, don't do it again. (laughs) Uh, so, a little bit later on, the wolf character IMs, or messages Owen, (laughs) and he thinks it's a joke immediately because, you know, all the friends know about this, this whole prank that's going on, um, so he just thinks it's a joke and that it's somebody else on campus. Yeah. Especially when he's like, I'm gonna pick your teeth, my my teeth clean with your bones. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. He's like, yeah, okay, whatever. He's like, oh, again, Tom even comes in, too, and he's like, Tom, look at this. And they're like, oh, well, it's fucking Dodger. Let's get back at her. Mm -hmm. Um, Right? Yeah. It's Dodger first. Yeah, because then they go to the pool because she's swimming. Yeah. And they throw, like, giant chunks of ice into the pool. (laughs) Which, dangerous. I was gonna say. Super careless. First of all, careless act number one. At first I thought it was cement. I was like, oh, damn. Yeah. That's gonna fuck up the pool. (laughs) That's a careless act on them, that they're throwing actual chunks. They're not even looking. Just, like, overhead behind them into the pool. They could actually hit her. Yeah. Careless act number two in the scene. She's swimming laps. In a bikini. Ma'am, I don't believe you. (laughs) (laughs) Maybe it's just because I have 
I don't know, big titty problems, but <laughs> I could never, I would never. That yeah. is, I, no. Absolutely not. Yeah. Anyway, they, <laughs> they're throwing these chunks, they look, and they see Dodger, and she's under the water, so they're like, oh my god, we fucking hit her, she's drowning. So then they have to go... Rescue her. S- exactly. And they're like giving her mouth to mouth, and then she spits at the water and does the whole, like, um, Ferris Bueller thing. You're my hero. Yeah, <laughs> Ellen Matthews, you're my hero. And then she, um, they're like, yeah, we know you were sending IMs, supposedly, as the wolf. And she was like, no. I was studying AP with Regina. <laughs> yeah, for AP, AP... history? AP Chem? I don't know. AP, wait, hold on. AP AP, AP Chem. AP Chem. Sure. That's what it is. <laughs> That's right. Or AP Bio. Who cares? Um, after that, they think it was Graham then. Yeah, he, like, kind of, Owen does his own little investigation of, like, who could have sent it. But, like, everybody was busy at the time. I think Graham was in, like, a study group for, like, hours. Yeah, very, like, legally blonde Elle Woods, like, in the library with the yeah. study group. And she's like, look, I brought sustenance. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, he's like, no, I have been here since like 2 p.m um so it wasn't dodger wasn't tom wasn't graham who could it be yeah i don't remember what everyone else's excuse was but they were like in various things right so after this uh i believe he goes back to the room yes back to their dorm and it's like trashed but only tom shit only tom shit is trash and it's like missing (laughs) yeah like his laptop is Fucked up, right? Yeah. And then they find um, Randall's, like, gross-ass lip ring on the computer or the desk. Yeah. I think it's his tongue ring. Oh, yeah. Whatever. And it's, like, gross. covered in blood. And there's an I am from the wolf waiting for them and says, I ate your friend. <laughs> okay. So then Tom's like, oh, no, look, it's fake blood. Regina knows, like, this really good, like, recipe for fake blood. And then he, like, he puts it in his mouth and he's like... Good. interesting uh <laughs> seems to me she's changed it up and then he's like oh my god regina wow what a like great prank and then she was like no um i was studying for ap bio or ap chem and i took ap chem or yeah i just took ap chem freshman year exactly last year so they year. know that dodger was lying fucking she lying ass bitch. <laughs> absolutely so i think owen goes to confront her then yeah he confronts her in the library and uh, she she had said something about how she had to go into town or some some bullshit story yeah. about meeting her mom. I don't know. Uh, some lame ass excuse, but Owen's in love, so he's like, okay. Stars in his eyes. Yeah, he looks like the mask. <laughs> he's watching <laughs> Tina. He's like, oh, oh, Garuga. Oh, but they are up- fully out of chest. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, so they're in the library, and they end up getting like. In a somewhat suspenseful scene, I guess, uh, get stalked by like a figure, and it's like one of those libraries where like you walk and the lights turn off if you're not like like those motion lights. <laughs> yep. If you're not in the area. And like, keep in mind when they set this whole like wolf character up, they gave him like a physical description where he wears a bright orange ski mask, a camo, camo coat. And he uses a, what, a hunting, hunting knife? knife. Yeah. Um, so, like, Owen thinks that he sees someone matching that description, like, following them. So, like, of course, like, it's that suspenseful where they're standing, like, in the stacks. And they're very still, so the light goes off. And we just see the lights coming on, getting closer and closer. But we don't see who's approaching. And then when finally someone emerges, it's this little librarian lady. And, she, I mean, it was kind of funny. It still makes me laugh when she yeah. was like, try German uh, philosophy. philosophy. No one will bother you there. <laughs> what a queen. <laughs> she I knows. Know. She knows what's up. She knows. This ain't her first uh, go around in the stacks. And then at some point, Owen also discovers that Randall never really went to go visit the girl. That... Hey, don't they call her? Yeah, he like calls her. He somehow gets her number from some campus directory. Gets the number for the girl, Jenny. Yeah, it seems suspicious that they would just hand that out. That's weird. The whole thing is weird. Yeah, it's so weird. And so he never actually made it. She's like, yeah, he blew me off and never made it. So Randall's missing. And so is Tom's car. And so is Tom's car. Uh, and then and at, then, at this point, Owen also, like, I don't even know how he, he, like, 
follows Dodger to the library or like goes into the library and this is when he sees her kissing. Yeah. The teach well, yeah. Yeah. So like when they had left the library, they were like laughing about it because like that librarian lady and then he was like, Let me take you to dinner or whatever and she was like, um, rain check. I got some stuff I gotta take care of. So bye and she, she leaves. Yeah. So like later that day he's like riding the high of like, Ooh, yeah, Dodger and I, whatever, whatever. Yeah. And yeah, he was Oh, doing something. He talks to one of the girls, and they're like, "Yeah, I think she went ran to the library for research or some shit." So he Quote, goes unquote, there research. to give her the twenty for the dinner, and, and uh, yeah, mm-hmm. she's. Uh, I mean, he saw Dodger kissing Bon Jovi. <laughs> Gross. I know, <laughs> fully Mackin, and he looks pissed. He is not happy. No. And so the next day in class. Uh, he is still in Bon Jovi's class. He's really pissy. He goes to, like, pick up his bag, and a knife falls out, so somebody planted that hunting knife in his bag. Tisk tisk. And, of course, like, everyone in the class is like, ah! They're, like, panicking. They're treating him like, oh, my God, like, what the fuck are you doing with that knife? Like, put right. it down. Like he's like, fucking Ted Bundy. Yeah. And even, uh, Bon Jovi kind of is just, like, drags his ass to the principal's office, or the headmaster's office. Well, I like that Owen, like, the knife falls out of his bag, and, and then he, instead like, of being like, up. yeah, instead of being like, oh my god, what the hell is that, he holds it up, and he's, like, brandishing it at the Yeah, class. he's, like, he's literally, like, pointing it at everybody, like, it's not mine! <laughs> Motherfucker, put, put it, it down! down. Yeah. yeah! What are you doing? Like, what the fuck? So while Bon Jovi's like, we're going to the headmaster's class, I've heard it with you, he's like, I saw you. Last night, yeah. kissing Dodger. I saw it. I saw it all. And Bon Jovi's like, you think you're slick, don't you? No one's going to believe you. He's like, no. Nope. Uh, or he's like, do you have any proof? And he's like, I won't need proof. Uh, you know, they're going to they're gonna look into it anyway, and they're going to find, ooh, you dirty dog, you. <laughs> and uh, so he kind of like flexes on Bon Jovi a little bit, and he's like, you know, Owen, you're not as tough <laughs> you as you know? think you are. You know? You know, Owen? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Owen's like, it's my life, Okay. <laughs> It's now or never. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Oh, God. That's not my joke, though. That's not my joke. <laughs> I'm still waiting I'm so for the proud of my I'm joke. I'm still waiting for the joke. I'm waiting in suspense. I can't wait. Anyway, so that night, or, like, the next night, is, like, the night of the Halloween party. Now, it's not Halloween, but it's, like, the night before Halloween. Right, so close enough. Close enough. But the wolf was supposed to attack on Halloween. Right, because it's it's like the full moon is what they were waiting for. But Owen is like in detention from you know the whole knife situation, so he's like cleaning up the cafeteria, um, and he ends up getting chased because like the somebody dressed as the wolf sneaks up behind him, and at first he thinks it's like Tom playing a prank on him or whoever, like you know it's like a joke. uh, Actually, starts chasing him, so there's like a little bit of a a thing. It's a little Scooby Doo moment. A little moment, yeah. My favorite is when like the the wolf is chasing Owen and he steps in that bucket or whatever. He, he just like the wolf. wolf. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's incredible. Uh, uh, I feel like this scene, uh, instead of like, because you know, of course they have like tense like music over it, but they should really replace it with like that typical like. I was just gonna say the Benny Hill. Yeah, exactly. Because he's like going out one door, going in one door, going in. Exactly. And then they run into, like, the Halloween dance at some point. And yeah, that's where Owen decides to go. And he realizes that there's, like, a bunch of other people dressed up as the wolf killer. Yeah. Because, of course, teenagers. Because teenagers. You know. <laughs> so then Owen, instead of hiding in the safety of the dance with everyone there, he decides to, like, leave. And he's in the parking lot where he gets chased again. And he finds... Well, because Re- Lewis and Regina also mentioned that, um... Randall was came back with Tom's car. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So I think he wanted to go, and it was Tom that mentioned offhandedly that he was going to go and try to, like, prank um, Owen. And yes. that's why he goes into his car <laughs> yes. to prank him back. But when he gets into the car, he's attacked from behind from the wolf killer. <laughs> and there's blood on the steering wheel first, too. So he's yeah. like, oh, God. Yeah, so he gets attacked from behind. And then there's, like, Another fight, kind of. Chase. He's chased I'm through the really parking sure. lot through this person that has like the knife. Uh, who, my I know, it's also shorter than him. So like, right. 
So Jared had a lucky sprays hall, so you would know. But uh, the cops, there must have, there was like a cop there who then like sees the, what's happening and pulls his gun out and is like chasing like the killer and like is like you know freeze throw the weapon and we find out that it's Mercedes. Yeah, what a dumb a bitch. Almost got killed. <laughs> it was just a prank. So then, yeah. of course, the whole group is boasted. They got to go to the headmaster's office, and she's like... Mercedes and Owen both, like, confessed to everything, I believe. Mercedes confessed, because she confessed. went in first. Yeah. And that's why when he goes in with the headmistress, um, she was like... Yo, I got half a mind to kick your ass right on out of here. <laughs> Mercedes already confessed to everything. I fucking heard it with you. Um, I, well, I forget why she doesn't. Why doesn't she? She gets distracted because her kid comes in. Yeah, in like full costume. And he's like, trick or treat. So then they realize, like, well, Owen realizes, wait a minute. Halloween wasn't yesterday. It's today. The wolf's gonna strike tonight. With the full moon. So... Um, he decides to message everybody. Yeah, chapel. Tonight, <laughs> we finish the game. Which, I love this movie. If you couldn't tell. But, <laughs> I got questions. Because he's like, tonight, we finish the game. How are they even playing? Because I got questions. Like, once they start playing, quote unquote, with the whole school. Right. The, the rules are very muddied. How do we know who's in, who's out, who's winning, who's losing? How are they finishing it? What's yeah. happening? Yeah, well, I got it, questions. It doesn't go beyond the the setup, right? Like I the feel pranks. Like. Yeah, like it doesn't. Like they're like, okay, well, we set this email out, and then after that, that it's like that's it, right? And then after that, it just becomes a let's scare Owen. <laughs> yeah, they're not pranking anyone in the school. They're really only pranking each other, and really by that, I mean they're really only pranking Owen. Yeah, you know. Yeah, like, no so it's like, th- it never gets beyond the scope of their own group. Right. Even um, though the email was sent out to everybody. Nobody else seems concerned. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that there's something going on. Also, it should be a red flag to Owen that there's nobody else getting attacked or, like, yeah. hurt. <laughs> but he's day. also, like, super paranoid because he's like, what if by sending out this chain mail it got around and there's an actual killer and that's what's happening. And he happening. read it. Right. Somehow. Like, okay, okay, buddy. I don't know how things work over, over where you're from, but uh, it doesn't work like that here. Yeah. So they go to the chapel, and is it Mercedes or is it Regina that confesses that she was the one that scared Dodger and Owen in the library? That was Regina. Regina. Yeah. She, yeah, so she, like, confesses that, like, yeah, she was the one that pulled the prank on them to, like, kind of freak them out. Yeah, because she had, like, Regina admits um, that Dodger is always the shepherd. She wanted her to feel like a sheep for once and, like, really scare Dodger. Right. Because she was sick of always feeling, like, beneath Dodger. So, essentially, what we get here is, like, the everyone can... Conf- right. But no one is owning up to being the wolf on Instant Messenger. Right, because Tom put the knife in Owen's bag to get back because he thought that Owen trashed their dorm for some reason. (laughs) So he put the knife in his bag uh, and then chased him through the cafeteria. So it was him that chased him. Um, And Dodger kind of put the whole thing together, I think. Yeah. Dodger put, yeah, she put it together um, and... she essentially tries to, like, pin it all on Owen. She's yeah. like, oh, well, that's it. Surprise, surprise. Like, y'all got got. And uh, as she, like is, like, is walking off, that's when Owen confronts her. Because, like, she had, like, met him outside of the dance. And she was like, oh, I thought we'd go together and, you know, you owe me dinner. And he's like, fuck you. Like, <laughs> essentially. Right. He's like, yeah. get fucked. So uh, he's like, well, I saw you. He's like, what about you? Yeah, he, like, really calls her out. <laughs> For sure. Everybody. He's like, what about you and, uh... Bon Jovi over there. What's going on with that? And she's like, what are you talking about? He's like, I saw you. Y'all were hooking up. Uh, super fucked up. And she's like, oh, is that why you've been shitty? And he's like, you are the shitty one. You are the asshole. And uh, she's like, yeah, I went there to break it off with him. Did you see that? There was uh, a struggle. <laughs> right. Yeah. So, like, we basically see everything through, like, a series of like flashbacks yeah and like earlier in the movie too when they set up this like whole killer persona they talk about how each of them is going to die like how they would each die by this like 
Wolf character, right. and we see those in flashbacks as well, like dramatizations, of yeah. course. All with this, I feel like the the flashbacks have like a blue orange filter over them. Yeah, you know, like For that sure. very two thousands. A little grainy. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, she's like, I I went there to break up with him, but like whatever, like I I went there to end things, but you know, you can go fuck yourself. You know, what would you do? He came on to me, and like I had to say yes. So she victimizes herself. Exactly. Which also it's like backed up too because like it's kind of like a dark moment that I admit like I didn't catch for a while. But um, like Dodger walks off like feeling butthurt or whatever and like Owen feels like an asshole. And um, I think it's I forget who says it. It's Lewis says like oh I don't believe it. And Regina kind of quietly she's like I do. Which means like I feel like this is not the first time yeah. Bon Jovi's have done this right you know or at least maybe not Clue even a teacher three. <laughs> exactly so owen feels like a huge asshole um but i think he who calls mercedes and she like ends up getting attacked or so because they're Lewis all in trouble and mercedes are like together and he calls her and she's like in the shower because she's all distraught from being questioned all day and she goes into the shower and of course he's all like yo Send me nudes. <laughs> right. Send, nudes. Send me those two thousands nudes. And so she takes a picture of herself. Well, when he when Lewis gets the picture, he can see a figure standing behind her, and then he can hear over the phone that she's getting attacked. So he like immediately like bolts to go get her. Um. So now that like, and it's funny because like Owen even calls security saying like someone's being attacked, and they're like. Yeah, we had enough of your game, so no. Right. <laughs> the boy who cried wolf. Literally. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> so, like, at this point, it's kind of like, now it's mass hysteria because most of the campus has gone home for, like, um, like fall break, I'm assuming. Yeah, like, the weekend away. I don't know. It's, he said something like the nobody ever stays for the weekend, which is weird. Okay. I guess parties don't happen okay. there in rich people's school. Sure. I don't know. Whatever. So, like, no one's on campus. Yeah. So, they're all, like, kind of running around. We've got Regina, Tom, and Owen. They're together. Um, they find Randall's dead body in the chapel mm -hmm. um, in very much a similar fashion to how they had described him dying earlier on in the movie. Yeah. Um, so, they're like, fuck this. We're getting out of here. Owen's like, no, I've got to get Dodger. <laughs> and so they're like, <laughs> Tom's basically like, Yo, you got like fucking twenty minutes, and then I'm we'll out, wait we're out of here. Leaving. Yeah, with or without you. <laughs> exactly. So while he's on his hunt to find Dodger, he finds Lewis, who like he's like I found Mercedes, she's dead, right? Yeah, that or she's like missing, and then he gets attacked. Oh, yes. from behind. Also similar style to how they had described earlier. Yeah, like over the banister situation. Right. Um. So he goes like. Owen goes, like, running upstairs to hunt down whoever is attacking Lewis. And, uh, he hears a woman scream. So now he's, like, back to looking for Dodger, essentially, like, well, fuck <laughs> He us. snaps right out of that. <laughs> right. Um, and now he goes to the office of Mr. Walker. Mr. Walker. Where, um, his phone rings. And it's Dodger, and she's like, what are you doing in Rich's office? And he's like, oh, I was... Why are you calling? <laughs> right, literally, why are, wait, why are you calling his office? He doesn't ask her that, though, which, okay. Suspicious. That's but she does. She calls the office, and she's like, why are you there? I feel like it's, like, his private line, too. I don't know why. Yeah, and then she tells him about the gun in the desk. Yeah, because she's like... I think he, you know, she tells him to look for something else in his desk or whatever, and that's where she finds the, that's where he finds the gun. Yeah. Or does, does she explicitly say the gun? Well, at the end she mentions it. Oh. But, she, so she's walking, she's like, I'm walking towards you or whatever, and he notices that there's somebody following her, and so, um, yeah. I don't know if at one point, I don't know at what point they get the gun, but. Right. Because yeah. she does mention, she's like, I think there's keys? Something. But I feel like these, she said there's, like, keys. In the, uh, oh yes, she says there's keys in his desk, um, and then she's attacked and killed on the steps the same way she was as before, so like all of these premonitions from earlier are coming true, um, but while he's in his desk looking for these supposed keys is when he finds the gun. So she doesn't say gun, but right. there's a gun there. There's and definitely a gun there. Right. So Owen's like, fuck this, I'm arming myself, and when he like 
rounds the corner, who's he run into? Mr. It's, Walker. It's Mr. Walker. <laughs> oh, shit. He was lighting the fucking house. And he is carrying the killer's clothes. Yes. Yes. So Owen's like, oh, fuck. You're the wolf. This all makes sense. This all makes sense. And he's like, whoa, Owen, you got you to gotta put that gun down. I don't know what's happening. We're in this together. Let's, let's, let's talk it out. And talk it out they do because Owen is like, you killed the girl in the woods. You were with her. Absolutely. Yes. Becky. Becky. Becky found, with the good hair. Becky with the good hair. <laughs> and the good Polaroids. They found the Polaroids. <laughs> he found the Polaroids. This ain't his first rodeo. He's been with a few students. Yes. But so, he maybe was, even Regina from what she said earlier. We don't know. Yeah. So, oh yeah. Right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. And so, he outs him. He's like, yo, you killed that girl in the woods. You were with her. Like, oh. Yes. Oh, and that's why, so that's why Owen ultimately, did, ultimately didn't get expelled was because Mr. Walker had vouched for him. So she was like, I like Mr. Walker. And because he vouched for you, you can chill you for a little bit. So now Owen's like, and that's why you fucking vouched for me. So you could, so you could goddamn pin this on me, you animal. <laughs> and guess what? He shoots Mr. Walker. He does. Shot through the heart. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, I fucking knew that was coming, and I'm glad it did. <laughs> it's so unoriginal, but I fucking had to. It's like they, it's like they picked him specifically for Just that joke. Scene. That, that's the only reason I could picture about Jody. <laughs> Otherwise, get fucking Vince Neil. What's he doing? All, Nothing. All the jokes. Yes. All of the jokes. Oh my god. So <laughs> what's he doing? <laughs> <laughs> he had to have been available for that movie. Right. <laughs> Fucking Brett Michaels, he hasn't done anything since Rock of Love. He'd be great. Oh, God. His wig I Dana can take too, the day off. You know, I want to say maybe he's a little too, like, buff to be, like, a teacher. But then, like... Mm, Who? Brett Michaels. Buff? <laughs> no, like, you know, like, too, like, chunk- chunky. <laughs> <laughs> Not, like, in a, like, a, like, a fat way. Like, he's just, like... A stock, stocky. That's the word I'm looking yes. for. He's too stocky. <laughs> he probably was like, "Can I wear? Can my character wear affliction, je- <laughs> yeah. affliction jeans?" Oh, then no. Not both. He's stocky, and whereas Bon Jovi's a little more skinny. <laughs> true. He's more sinewy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. True. Oh my god. He was too busy doing puns abound. I, I think that's probably what it was. That or he was like really good friends with the director, and they was like, true. "Yeah, be in my movie, yo." You, you're, you know. <laughs> You're perfect. Is that washed up? Nah. nah. I don't know. I mean, definitely available. <laughs> <laughs> definitely available. Maybe because, like, around 2005 was when we saw the resurgence of, like, Brett Michaels and, like, with these, like, like Flavor Flav, these dating shows. Maybe yeah. Bon Jovi was like, I want to do that, but I do want people to be into me again. L- let me get in that movie. And it just didn't have it for In the younger crowd, because he knew the younger crowd exactly. would see this movie. Exactly. Yeah, we see you, Bon Jovi. We know what you're doing. We know what you're doing. We fucking caught you. Oh, uh, uh, yikes. So he shoots him. Yeah. And the police are now here questioning everybody uh, all and the group. Yeah, because now they've, like, so they heard the gunshot, and everyone that Owen thought was dead is now like, what, what did you do? What did you do? It's a it's joke. It's all supposed to be a joke. They were all pranking him. Yeah. So Yee. dumb. The world's worst prank ever. Yeah. So, we get the reappearance of Gary Cole. Again, yeah. at the movie. Gary Cole, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> the lumber, yeah. Yeah. Gary Cole. Okay. And he's like... I, uh, <clears throat> I spoke to some people, and, uh... You're free. <laughs> you're, you're, you're free to go. Money can buy freedom. <laughs> exactly. And, uh, Owen's like, well, that's... I mean, I... I killed a man. How is that possible? And they were like, well, uh, we, uh... Polaroids. Seems like you've killed a wanted man, because we found the Polaroids and, and the gun that killed that girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> because we... Yeah. So he killed the wanted murderer murder exactly from from where everyone stands it looks like bon jovi was not only like a sex offender and was like preying on these young girls but he also killed that girl becky they got phone records they got polaroids they got i don't know goddamn everything they got everything so owen's kind of like a a hero yeah like a dark knight (laughs) yeah so then dodger visits him at the police station this dumb bitch and it's interesting because, you know, she's upset. She's like, I never wanted it to get this far. 
And then she says something that's interesting. She says, and I quote, no, <laughs> that if she had known about what happened with the girl, the Becky girl, what, what he was doing with her, the teacher, that none of this would have happened. She wouldn't have made them prank Owen. Mm-hmm. Which was interesting because he caught on real quick. And he's like, what did you just say? Yeah. Mm. She's like, yeah, I mean, if, if he hadn't been fooling around with that slut. And he's like, oh, shit. And so we, he throws it together. <laughs> he pieces it all. And he was like, it was you. It was fucking you. You knew that she was fucking around with your man and you were not happy about it she was pissing all over your territory and he obviously liked her better mm-hmm. you know becky with the good hair rather than dodger with the orange hair <laughs> and the thin brows okay <laughs> and uh he's like yeah you set this whole shit up and like you fucking knew that i would go along with this so you could set his ass up because you knew that i was going i mean like this whole thing it's like very like charlie from it's always sunny with the yarn board, like <laughs> yeah. very conspiracy heavy and she's kind of like, uh, what, what? She's what still trying mean? to play the victim. She's like, that's crazy. Like, what do you mean? And I'm so confused. What? Right. Meanwhile, her tears are like reversing back into her <laughs> eyes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And, uh. It's like you're waiting for her face to change. Exactly. The face crack. And she just like keeps like a very low, very like steady voice. And mm-hmm. she's like, well. Even if that were true, who would believe you? Ooh. Who would believe you? And walks, the both? and walks the fuck out of the police station. Boom. Leaves everything exploding behind her in her wake. Evil. Evil bitch. <laughs> Felony Dodger. That's right. End credits. <laughs> and we get this great song by, I think it's the 2020s. Oh, it's called Shoot Your Gun. I love it. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's a lot of fun. This movie is great. It's a whodunit with so many red herrings. (laughs) It's so many red herrings. And, like, yes, I know that I tore apart Stay Alive for not making any goddamn sense. But this movie, although it's a little confusing, it's very fucking enjoyable. I am in it for the ride. It is. It's a clever movie. It's, like, more than just, like, a, you know, by the books kill it. Because only two people die in this movie. Yes. One in the beginning, one in the end. Exactly. And, at like, right before the credits roll, we do see, like, Dodger's face right. is the one that shoots Becky. Yeah. So. She crazy. done it the whole time. Exactly. She, she did it. It, ugh, it takes so many twists and turns. It's like, ooh. It's great. It's mystery. It's drama. Some comedy thrown in. Some sex. Horror. Yeah, no sex, actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, nothing. There's, like, not even a lot of gore. Yeah, not really. Like, the only gore is, like, from the flashbacks of them, like, you know, planning their own deaths or right. whatever, like, in the beginning and throughout, but just, ugh, ugh, it does so much with so little. I know. It's great. Just I love kiss. it. Yes. All right. Ratings. If you were to rate this movie on a horror podcast right now, what would you rate it? I'm going four out of five. Four yeah. Point, yeah. 4.5 out of five for me. Because 4.5 out of five. I'm giving it the point five bump. Because I want to, and I like it a <laughs> because lot. Because Bon Jovi. <laughs> yeah, because Bon Jovi, because of the puns. But, like, for me, personally, I think it's a really fun movie. I think it's creative. I think we've talked enough about the reasons why I like it so much. But the rewatchability for me, it, it, it alone, I have seen this movie so many times. Yeah. And it never is a movie that I don't enjoy watching. I'm always in it. And it's interesting because, like, when you watch it for the first time, your mind is fucking blown. But, like... And usually I feel like with, like, whodunit type mysteries, once you, like, know who it is, like, you don't necessarily need to see it again because you're like, yeah, like, that's part of the fun is, like, figuring it out. And then once you know, it's like, that's that. But, like, this, I feel like you almost, like, catch more the more times you see it. Like, you yeah. catch on to these little, like you said, like, all of these little things yeah. throughout the movie. And you're like, oh, shit. And you notice them the more that you watch it. So it makes the rewatchability, like, that much better. Exactly. Exactly. It's a 2005, like, it's an early 2000s horror movie that I think was, like, done right. It's the right amount of fun, the right amount of camp, the right amount of gore. It's, to, to me, I think it's, like, a an interesting story. Not, yeah. I don't think there was one like it beforehand. Right. You know, it's it's a, um original idea. Yeah. I think. Yeah. It, it's like it has that, like, whodunit old school quality, like, you know, 
uh, like of like older mysteries, but it has like that modern element of it being like you know an instant messenger. Exactly. I mean, well, granted, it's dated time, now, but, but yeah. yeah. But. And even the promotions for the movie, I think they had like a fun like instant message messenger game to go along with it until the movie came out Ooh. so like even their like marketing and promotion for the movie See, was that's fun. how you do it exactly that's what stay alive should have done i mean maybe they did but <laughs> <laughs> i doubt it <laughs> uh what would you rate this movie oh four and a half out of five oh sure. yeah hell yeah. yeah yeah i mean i know there's flaws so that's why i'm not gonna give it like a perfect score but i like it's so enjoyable to watch it's clever you know Definitely. Not every character is likable, and I think that's why I'm, like, not giving it a perfect score. But, like, yeah, it's still good. It leaves you guessing. And, like I said, like, the twists and turns, it leaves you guessing who it really is. And it's just, like, holy shit, you know. Hell yeah. Throughout. <laughs> yeah. It's a hoot and a half. So that's going to wrap it up for us this week here over at Fright Mike. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, I really hope I did this movie justice. It is so <laughs> hard. To talk about a movie that you are so passionate about, because I, I think feel it's, like it's easier. Is it? I feel like because we get we get more excited about it. True. I just always want to like do it justice because oh, we yeah. can only do it once, you know. And yeah. I just, uh, it was so much fun to talk about this movie. I'm so glad we got to do Even it. Even though we spoil it, if you haven't seen it, please do watch it. Yeah, it's it's a lot of fun. Like you really need to do yourself a favor and watch this, especially if you are nostalgic for the time or you don't mind watching a 2000s horror film if you weren't there for it you know yeah. but definitely give this a watch watch the unrated version yeah definitely um and then we do love to hear what you guys have to say so tell us what you think about cry underscore wolf uh we are on facebook we are on instagram and we are on twitter at fright Mike podcast we are also on Patreon. That's right, Patreon. If you want to <laughs> you heard that, right? Goodies. We are over there as well. Um, so you can check us out at patreon.com slash frightmikepodcast. Um, and also, we do love reviews. So if you could just uh, give us, you know, five stars, thumbs up, like a fun little comment wherever, you, wherever you're able to, really. Um, we would greatly appreciate that. Uh, and then I think that's... I think that's, that's that. it. I believe this is our last week for Grizzly Games. It's been all fun and games. And yet, no one got hurt. <laughs> <laughs> no one got killed. Exactly. So we live to discuss another theme, another month. And next month is a good one. I'm so excited for next month. We are so excited. We'll be announcing it on our socials. So, uh, you know, yes. keep, we'll keep you posted. We'll if, be on the lookout. If you know anything about us. <laughs> Next month's going to be our bread and butter. Everything. Chef's kiss. Ugh. Our favorite month to date, I think. Oh, yeah. Yes. So be sure to uh, tune in next week. But until next time, I'm Sam. I'm Liz. Rest, Rest in, in peace. peace.